All right, let's do this. Let's begin our implementation of the natural language processing, well, you know, branch of machine learning, but more specifically of an NLP model made for sentiment analysis. All right, so as usual, we're gonna start as much efficiently as we can. We're gonna use our data preprocessing template, which I've of course prepared for this implementation, which contains, you know, the codes to import the libraries and import the data set. So let's quickly start with the libraries here. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna paste that right here in a new code cell to indeed import the essential libraries, you know, just in case we need them. It doesn't mean that we will necessarily use all of them, but at least we have them in case we need them, okay? Then importing the data set, let's create a new code cell. And now according to you, do I have to take all the lines of code here or just this one to get the data set? Well, as you might guess, now we're gonna do some different kind of data preprocessing and therefore we'll just take this line of code to indeed import the reviews inside still a data set variable, but then you will see that there will be a certain work needed before creating these two features. We will indeed create these two features at some point, you know, the matrix of features and the dependent variable, but not now. This is too early. We will have to clean the text first and prepare the bag of words model. And in fact, we will create these two entities, the matrix of features and a dependent variable vector in the cell where we create the bag of words model. Okay, so let's just take this for now, the data set, and back into our NLP implementation. Let's paste that right here. And now indeed we have to adapt this a little because now we're not dealing with a CSV file, we're dealing with a TSV file where the features, meaning the text and the binary variable zero or one are separated by a tab instead of a comma. So first thing first, let's replace this data set by the right name. You notice that I even included the extension because we'll have to change it. So the name of our data set, let's have a look again, is restaurantreviews.tsv. All right, so that's exactly what we'll replace here. Restaurant underscore reviews.tsv. Okay, and now since it is a TSV, we'll have to add some extra parameters to specify that indeed we're dealing with a TSV file instead of a comma separated value file, CSV. All right, and the way to do this is just to add one parameter here, which is delimiter, all right, for which the default value is actually the comma, meaning that the default data set that we can import with this read underscore CSV is indeed CSV, but you know, we can also use this read underscore CSV function to import a TSV file. And that's exactly what we're about to do now. But the way to specify that we're dealing with a TSV file is to enter the following value for this delimiter parameter, which is in quotes, this slash here, backslash and T. All right, that's the value of the delimiter you should enter to specify that your data set is a TSV file. But then that's not all. We need to add one final parameter, a very important one when you're working with text. I'm gonna show you something now in not this data set because we couldn't see the whole reviews, but I'm gonna show you the whole data set inside the folder, machine learning A to Z, which you could download once again in the article right before this tutorial. So let's open it. Let's go into part seven NLP, then NLP again and Python, and that's the whole data set. So I'm on Mac here, so I'm gonna open it with a classic text editor, like text edit, perfect. We just need to have a look at the text quickly. So there we go. And now I'm just gonna do a command or, you know, control F to find something, which is a double quote, just like that, okay? And as we see, we can see that we have many double quotes within the text, all right? And in order to process this the right way, you know, when our machinery models learn how to read text, well, we'll have to say to our model to ignore the double quote. Otherwise, you know, if you don't do it, this can cause some processing or sparsing errors, which you want to avoid, you know, because this can lead to an execution error. So I always recommend to add this quoting parameter and set its value to three, which means actually no quotes or, you know, ignore the quotes, so that indeed you can be free from processing errors. You can see there are many quotes, right? So we're just gonna ignore all of them as if, you know, there are just some different characters in the text. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you. So now let's close this and let's go back to our implementation and 
to add this final parameter, we need to add here quoting equals and the value of this quoting parameter to ignore all the double quotes is three. All right, and now perfect. That's how you import correctly a TSV file, which should be the format of, you know, a data set separating text and a binary outcome like zero or one. That's the classic way to proceed with sentiment analysis. So there we go. Well, actually let's import the data set to make sure everything's all right. So we're gonna click this folder here. Then it's gonna take a little time, you know, a few seconds to connect this notebook to a runtime to enable file browsing. But in a second, we should see that upload button here to indeed upload, there we go, the data set. So let's click it. And now please find your machine learning A to Z folder on your machine, which you had to download either in the previous tutorial or at the beginning of each section. So now let's go inside. Let's go once again into part seven, natural language processing, then this section, then Python, and then restaurantreviews.tsv. Let's click open, let's click okay. And now we're gonna have the data set inside the notebook. All right, perfect. So now let's run the cells. First, this cell where we import the libraries. So simple one. And now this cell where we import the data set. Let's do this. Let's make sure everything goes well. And there we go. Now we have the data set ready. So that means we're ready for the next step, cleaning the text. That's an essential step in natural language processing. I will show you all the techniques to make your text as clean as possible. And we will do all this in the next tutorial. Until then, enjoy machine learning.